Hi everyone, welcome back to my math channel, MathWeb. Let us start question number 11 from Pearson and Excel A level exam for pure math 1. This exam is taken in October November session in 2023. Paper reference code is WMA11-01. Figure 5 shows part of the curve C with the equation y equals to f of x where f of x is equals to 2x square minus 12x plus 14. Write 2x square minus 12x plus 14 in the form a into x plus b whole square plus c. This one is the quadratic equation in vertex form. We can get this form by using the completing square method. We will complete the square of this one and we will get this form. Let me show you how to get this, uh, this form. Uh, here is a space. First part f of x is equals to 2x square minus 12x minus 12x plus 14. In completing square method, first of all, here the coefficient of x should be 1. This is the rule. In completing square method, coefficient of x square should be 1. We will take two common from all of these values, or you can just take common from first two values. That is your choice. I think it is good. So it left with x square minus 6x plus 14. Completing square method is that like uh, take the half of this number, whatever the number is here, this becomes the square of that number, like uh, it will be the form of x minus 3 whole square. Actually, you are adding 3 square here to complete the square. Okay, same number you have to subtract from here. So it will be 3 square plus 14. Let me show you here the exact method like it is 6x. Whatever the number is here, we will take the square of that number. Because you are adding this thing uh, from yourself, therefore you have to subtract the same number. Okay. So this is the complete square of x minus 3 whole square. And this one is here minus 3 square. That's why you are getting this answer. Hopefully you understand how to complete square. Now we will expand it. This two will multiply with the first term and this two will multiply by the second term inside the bracket. So it will be 2 into x minus 3 whole square because this is 9. 9 multiplied 2 will be 18 and uh, this plus 14 is here. So you can write this answer as 2 into x minus 3 whole square. Sorry, this will be negative 4. It, negative 18 plus 14 is negative 4. So this is the required answer. It is exactly as uh, given in the, this form. Uh, you can mention the values for a, b and c. Uh, here value of a is, you can say value of a is, this is the value of a and here b is negative 3 and c is negative 4. So this is the answer for the first part. Got it? Now for the second part, given that C has minimum at the point P, state the coordinates of point P. P is the minimum point. Actually this is the curve and P is the minimum point and minimum point is the vertex actually in this uh, quadratic equation. Okay. And uh, this is the standard form of the quadratic equation and this one, this one is the vertex form of the quadratic equation. This is the vertex form of the quadratic equation where we can say the coordinates of vertex will be negative p and c. This is the formula you can memorize even vertex coordinates are like that. So here whatever the sign is here we will change the sign if it is positive we will make it negative and if it is negative we will make it positive and here c we will keep as is. So vertex coordinates are like that. Now look at our answer from the previous part so you could write the, the coordinates of point p. For second part the coordinates of point P will be here because it is negative 3 so we always change the sign of this one so it will be positive 3 and uh, this one is the ne negative 4 so we'll keep as is. So these are the coordinates of point P. So second part of this question is done. The line L intersects C at negative 1, 28 and at point P as shown in the figure 5. 
Find the equation of line L giving your answer in the form y equals to mx plus c where m and c are the constants to be found. First of all, you need to find the equation of the line L. One point is minus 1 and 28, other point is p. Here it is 3 and minus 4. The coordinates of point p are 3 and negative 4. We want to find the equation of this line L. We want to find the equation of this line. This line L is intersecting these two points here, you know, here, this blue line, intersecting at these two points. And from these two points, you could easily find the gradient of this line. Gradient of this line, we, uh, we could find by using this formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Let's say this one is uh, this one is x1 and uh, this the other value is y1 and here it is x2 and y2. Minus 4 and minus 28 is minus 32 divided by 3 and that minus this minus and that minus makes it plus so it will be 4. And gradient of this line will be negative 8. Now you can choose any point you can use the first point this one or the other one that is your choice we can find equation of the line L equation of line L, L is y minus y1, this is the standard form of the equation of uh, the line, any line, y minus y1 equals to m into x minus x1. Now plug in the values, y minus y1, y1 you can use as 28, m is negative 8 and x minus x1, x1 is minus 1. This minus and that minus makes it plus. Now expand the bracket and move this value to the right side. Y will be equals to this minus 8 will multiply first value, we get minus 8x. And this minus 8 will multiply by the second value, we get minus 8. And this minus 28 becomes positive 28. And the equation of the line will be minus 8x plus 20. So this is the answer for C. Let's move on to the last part of this question. The finite region R shown shaded in, in figure 5 is bounded by the x-axis line L and y-axis and C. Use inequalities to define the region. Now you have to write all the inequalities that will define this shaded region. We already got the equation of this line that is the y is equals to minus 8x plus 20. Okay. For the last part first inequality you can get from here because this line equation of this line is here uh, given here and uh, the shaded region is below this line whenever it is below we can use y less than minus 8x plus 20 because it is below we will use less or equal if it is above we will use greater or equal now equation of this line the y axis you know along y axis here x value is 0 because the shaded region for this line is on the right side of this uh, vertical line therefore the second inequality we could write like this x is greater or equal to 0 if it is right side we will write greater or equals to 0 if it is on the left side we will use less or equals to 0 now look at here along this horizontal line we know that equation of the horizontal line is y equals to 0 the third inequality we could write like this because this region is above so we again we can write the third inequality like y is greater than or equals to 0 okay now last and final inequality we can write as because equation of this curve is given here y is equals to 2x square minus 12x plus 14 okay again the shaded region is above this curve therefore the fourth inequality would be y is greater than or equals to 2x square minus 12x plus 14. Okay, so these are the four required inequalities that are representing the shaded region. So this is the answer for the last part of this question. If you have any doubt or any question, please write in the comment box. Thank you.